Retired firefighter from Athens Clark County celebrated his newfound freedom and lifelong love of horses by competing in the toughest horse race in the world. Yeah. Stan Michael took part in the Mongol Derby last month, a 10 day thousand kilometer race that retraces the routes covered by Genghis Khan's postal system in the 13th century. And as it turned out, Stan was one of the best riders. Um, you can ride from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. Um, you typically change horses three or four times. Stan Michael of Bishop, Georgia is 57. He was the second oldest competitor in the world's longest horse race. I was just hoping to be able to finish the race. That was my main goal. There were 48 riders from the beginning and I came in eighth place out of 48. Stan retired two years ago after 27 years with the athens Clark County Fire Department. Around that time, his wife and daughter just happened to see a documentary about the Mongol Derby. We have horses on our farm and I've always ridden horses and they know how much I love horses and they all ride also and they just thought it'd be a, an adventure and it, and it certainly was. I hadn't ever been anywhere that was Comparable to it, um, just miles and miles of open grasslands and hills and no fences. You could just ride. And at the end of each day, he says nomads made sure that he didn't have to worry about where he would put his head down. We would just ride up on a horse at 7 o'clock at night and ask them could we stay there for the night. And they would automatically just go to helping you take care of your horse, ask if you need anything to eat. That was one of the best things about the race was the meeting the Mongolians and learning about their culture and their way of life. And the horses, semi-wild and born to run all day long. The original Mon Mongolian horse um, that they've been riding over there since Genghis Khan, and uh, they're amazing horses. Their stamina is uh, beyond compared to any other horse. Yeah, Stan really lit up talking about how special some of those horses were. And I had to ask him how much his butt hurt after <laughs> nine days, 12, <laughs> of hours, uh, 12 hours a day in the saddle. He said, forget about that. Everything hurt. But oh, my gosh. What I an accomplishment. Imagine. It's incredible. I, you told me about this story earlier. It's just amazing. Number one, where he got the idea to do it, watching a documentary. Right. And two, I just think it's so inspiring, someone of his age. You know, it's never too late to start a new hobby and maybe get into it. And, and he didn't do half bad. No, he did phenomenally well. I, I'm so proud of him. Uh, the Athens-Clark County Fire Department followed it on Facebook. They're so proud of him. He did yeah. it. He did a great job. Good for him.